Hello my lovelies. Today I have round 62 of How I Read It. So stay tuned. Hi, hello, welcome. If you're new here, Have I Read It is one of my multiple TBR games that I play in order to help pick my TBR for the upcoming month. And in this one, you get to help pick my TBR. So the way this works is I react to a haul that's over three years ago and I tell you if I've read the book, if I haven't read the book, or if I've unhauled the book. And out of all of the books that I still own that I have not read, you get to vote on which book or books I should read next month. So the way it the way I do it is if I have zero to 10 unread that I still own, I'll pick the number one voted book. If I have 11 to 20, I'll pick the top two and so on and so on. Because sometimes these hauls are massive. <laughs> uh, sometimes they're not so bad, but sometimes they're massive. Okay, so today we're going to be reacting to the Y'all Fest book haul part two from 2019. So, yeah. <laughs> I've got it pulled up here. I'm ready to go. Fingers crossed. Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome to my channel. Today I have part two of my Y'all Fest art haul. So stay tuned. Okay, so if you watched part one, I showed you 20 of the books that I got while at Y'all Fest. But I still have 21 more books left to show you. So let's just jump right in. So the first book I have here is Redemption Prep by Samuel Miller. And this I unhauled that one. Next. Next we have The Best Laid Plans by Cameron Lund. I think I still own this one, but I have to check. Okay, I'm not actually sure. So for now, I'm going to say that I do still own it. Let me find something right on here. I didn't mark that I had unhauled it. However, I might have, but for now, we're just gonna go with I didn't unhaul it. So this says, high school senior Kelly Collins takes on first, last, and everything in between in this sweet, sex-positive rom-com for fans of Meg Cabot and Jenny Han. It seemed like a good plan at first, when the only other virgin in her group of friends loses it at Kelly's on 18th birthday party, she's inspired to take things into her own hands. She wants to have an experience too, well, not exactly like that, but with someone she trusts and actually likes, so she's going to need to find the guy and fast. Problem is, she's known all the boys in her small high school forever, and it's kind of hard to be into a guy when you watch him eat crayons in kindergarten. So she can't believe her luck when she meets a ridiculously hot new guy named Dean. Not only does he look like he's fallen out of a classic movie poster, but he drives a motorcycle, flirts with ease, and might actually be into her. But Dean's already in college and Keely is convinced he'll drop her if he finds out how inexperienced she is. That's when she talks herself into a new plan. Her lifelong best friend, Andrew, would never hurt or betray her and he's clearly been with enough girls that he can show her the ropes before she goes all the way with Dean. Of course, the plan only works if Andrew and Keely stay friends, just friends, so things are about to get complicated. Cameron Lund's delightful debut is a hilarious and heartfelt story of first loves, first friends, and first times, and how making them your own is really all that matters. And this does sound quite cute. So, if you want me to read this, vote the best laid plans. All right, next up. Next we have, We Were Promised Spotlights by Lindsay Sproul. I feel like this is one that I've unhauled, but it's also funny, like, as I'm looking, like watching the video, I'm also looking at the shelves behind me and I'm like, I've unhauled that, that, that. <laughs> okay, yes, that is one that I have unhauled. So let me go back to the video. Next up. Next we have Ray Bear by Jordan Afuco. Oh, um, Jordan Afuego. And I have read that. Uh, I'm pretty sure I still have that edition too. I think I have like 
the ARC, the paperback, and the hardcover, all of this book. Uh, but I did read that. Next up. Okay, next up we have The Queen's Assassin by Melissa De La Cruz. I believe I've unhauled that one. Yes, I did unhaul that. All right. Next up. Okay, next we have Lucky Caller by Emma Mills. I'm pretty sure that I have read Lucky Caller, so let me check that. Yes, I have read that. All right, next. Oh, I need this in. <laughs> All right, next up. Okay, next up we have Deep Light by Francis Harding, Hardinge, Hardinge, I think. I have not read Deep Light, but I'm not sure if I still have it or not. Okay, this is one that I do still own and I have not read. So this says, The gods of the myriad were as real as the coastlines and currents, and as merciless as the winds and whirlpools. Now the gods are dead, but the remains are stirring beneath the waves. On the streets of the island of Ladies Crave live 14-year-old street, 14 street urchins, Mark, Hark, wow words, Hark and his best friend, Jelt. They are scavengers, diving for relics of the gods, desperate for anything they can sell. But there's something dangerous in the deep waters of the undersea, calling to someone brave enough to retrieve it. When the waves try to claim Jet, Jelt, Hark will do anything to save him, even if it means compromising not just who Jelt is, but what he is. Interesting. All right, so if you want me to read this, vote Deep Light, and it's all one word together. All right, next. Okay, so this next book, I got to looking at it, and I was thinking, is this a sequel to something? Because it seems like it might have been a sequel to something. So I looked it up, and it's actually, it's a standalone, but it's the fourth book, really, in this series, which I have the first three books of. Now, technically, the first three books is actually just a trilogy, and this is a separate book, but if you look it up on Goodreads, this book is book four. So, the first three books are The Girl of Fire and Thorns. Okay, I'll go ahead and stop there because The Girl of Fire and Thorns, I read it, I unhauled it and the rest of the series. So, unhauled. <laughs> All right, next. Okay, next up we have Only Love Can Break Your Heart by Katherine Weber. I'm not sure. I feel like that's one I've unhauled a while ago maybe because I don't recall having put it on any of the shelves here. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I unhauled that one. Apparently I read it and gave it two stars. All right, next up. Okay, next up we have The Circus Rose by Betsy Cornell. I feel like I unhauled it, but I'm going to check. Yes, I did unhaul that one. All right. Next. Speaking of covers, this cover, I absolutely would pick up the book because of it. It looks super cute, and it looks like there's a bookish girl, and I love me a bookish girl. That is What I Like About You by Marissa Kantner. I have read that. Love it. Still own it. All right, next. Okay, next up we have Together We Caught Fire by Eva V. Gibson. I believe this is one I still have, but I have to check. Nope, that's one I unhauled. All right, back to the video. Next we have Look by Zan Romanoff. Okay, I feel like I still have this one, but let me check. Yes, I do believe I still own this one. So this says, Things Lulu Shapiro's 10,000 Flash followers don't know about her. That video of her with another girl was never supposed to go public. That Owen definitely wasn't supposed to break up with her because of it. That behind the carefully crafted selfies and scenes Lulu projects onto people's screens, her life feels like a ter terrible, uncertain mess. Then Lulu meets Cass. 
Cass isn't interested in looking at Lulu's life, only in living it. And the hotel, a gorgeous space with an intriguing old Hollywood history and a trust fund kid to restore it. Seems like the perfect secret place for them to get to know each other. But just because Lulu has stepped out of the spotlight doesn't mean it'll stop following her every move. It's a story about what you present versus who you really are, about real intimacy and manufactured intimacy and the blurring of that line. It's a deceptively glamorous, feminist, emotionally complex, utterly compelling, queer, coming-of-age novel about falling in love and taking ownership of your own self, your whole self, in the age of social media. So if you want me to read this, vote look. All right, we're over the halfway point. Next up. Okay, next we have Girls Save the World in this one by Ash Parsons. These BFFs slay. I don't know. <laughs> Hold on. I believe that this is one that I actually unhauled uh, because I saw it, it was actually about zombies and I haven't really found any zombie books that I enjoy. All right. Next up. Okay, next we have Unscripted by Nicole Kronzer. And this comes out April 2020. I have read that one. I'm pretty sure I still own that one. Because I think that was rated pretty high. All right, next up. Next is actually a finished copy. And that is the paperback of The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell. I have unhauled that. Next. Okay, next is actually another finished copy. And I have two of them here because both Marty and I received one. But I have the hardcover finished copy, so I don't need this. And that is The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. I unhauled both of those. Next. So for the most part, if I got multiples, I would try to trade for something I didn't already have. And I traded somebody a multiple of something for this book. But then once I got to looking at it, I realized it's not something I would be interested in. So this is probably going to go in a giveaway as well. And that is Golden Arm by Carl Duker. I unhauled that one. Next. Okay, so next is another, well, two books that's the same book. It's another finished copy of a book I already own. So I have the hardcover and I have it signed and I actually met the author again for the second time at Y'all Fest. And had I gotten these before seeing her, I would have gotten these signed as well to give away, but I saw her before I got these. Anyway, I have two paperback copies of Caraval. I have unhauled both of those. So cool. That's everything. Wow. I only had three that I still own that I have not read. So your choices are The Best Laid Plans by Cameron Lund, Deep Light by Frances Hardinge, and Look by Zan Romanoff. So comment down below which book or books you would like me to read. I will only pick the number one voted book, but you can vote for as many books as you like. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click that subscribe button down below. And until next time, remember to always be completely you.